well-defined syndromes with immunodeficiencies are a group of genetic syndromes with unique clinical features and well-characterized underlying immune defects. The features of well-defined syndromes include dysmorphology with uh, recurrent infections and autoimmune diseases. Now, a good example of well-defined syndromes with immunodeficiencies include the George syndrome and Job syndrome. These two conditions have unique characteristics and also lead to increased risk of infection because these conditions are associated with immunodeficiency. The George syndrome is when one has a defective development of the pharyngeal pouch system. And this is caused by mutation in chromosome 22. For the George syndrome, remember catch 22. 22, as in the microdeletion in part of chromosome 22, resulting in the mutation. C is for cardiac abnormalities. A is for abnormal facies, where you get a distinct type of look. T is for thymic absence or abnormality. C is for cleft palate. And H is for hypocalcemia, resulting from parathyroid hypoplasia. Immunodeficiency in DeGeorge syndrome is a result of an abnormal thymus. Because normally, the thymus is actually where T cell development occurs early on. T cells then eventually move to the lymph nodes and become activated. T cells are important for, I guess, two main reasons. One, they stimulate B cells, which are your antibody producing cells. And two, they also destroy infected cells. When there is no or abnormal thymus, this means deficiency in T cells, which subsequently means B cell dysfunction. Without B cells and without antibodies, you increase the risk of infections. The other well-defined syndrome with immunodeficiency is hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome, also known as Job syndrome. This is an autosomal dominant condition, classically a multi-system disorder, resulting from STAT3 deficiency a protein important in intracellular signaling pathway. Job syndrome is characterized by combined immunodeficiency, meaning deficiencies of B cells and deficiency of T cells. It's also characterized by marked elevation of serum immunoglobulin E, thus the name hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome. Hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome results in the classic triad, atopic dermatitis, recurrent staph infections, and it doesn't have to be painful, as well as recurrent pulmonary bacterial infections. Other features of Job syndrome include mucocutaneous candidiasis. Thank you for watching. In summary, primary immunodeficiencies include well-defined syndromes with immunodeficiencies of which two are very important to remember. The George syndrome, which is uh, caused by mutation in chromosome 22, remember CATCH22, and the other is hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome, or JOB syndrome, which is characterized by elevated immunoglobulin E, as well as combined immunodeficiency.